Hey, welcome back to the Six Figure Mastermind. Marianne Danabo is right here with you. Today we're gonna talk shopping, and if you know me, you know I actually hate shopping. So I'm gonna get you some tips so I can get through it quick, fast, and easy, just like I do. So it's really funny that I'm doing this video because I really dislike shopping. And maybe, maybe that's why it's a perfect fit because I don't like going out and, and spending a whole bunch of time and maybe not even finding what I want. It's so frustrating for me. It's, it's like one of my least fit, like the worst is car shopping. That's, that's the worst. Right below that is clothing shopping. Grocery shopping, I can handle that. It's pretty easy. Banana's a banana no matter where you go, right? But let's talk shopping and I'll share with you some of the tips and tricks I use to make shopping easy, simple, and stress-free, okay? First things first check out retailmenot.com. Before you even leave the house, check out retailmenot.com. This is a website that's been up for years, but it's kind of a secret hack if you wanna get some extra coupons and you know some, some discount codes for either your online shopping trip or your in-person shopping trip. Retailmenot.com is a fabulous resource and all of the codes and coupons have been vetted by the people on there. So you can see which ones are working right now and which, one, and which ones aren't. Okay, here's another hack. Check out ebates.com, E-B-A-T-E-S. And that has you know, a widget that you can install on your browser because ebates, what that will do for you is when you're shopping, it will like use your information, it'll kind of track what your habits are, but it'll also pay you to, for that information. So if you install ebates.com either on your phone or your computer, I recommend doing both, and you go to ebates.com before you do any shopping online, you will get some money back from any shop. I, I've gotten money back in my PayPal. I think I got 60 bucks for you know a few shopping trips. And hey, 60 bucks is 60 bucks. I'll take it. As long as you're okay with ebates knowing your shopping habits, you can get some money for that. So very, very cool. Another tip for shopping is keeping to your budget. I promise you, it'll be worth it. Keep to your budget for shopping, which means before you go shopping, you have to have a budget or a limit at which you can, you know you can spend to get whatever you need, especially when it comes to clothing. When you go shopping, stores are psychologically designed for impulse buys. That's why at the register they have all these little doodads and knickknacks and, and upsells that they, that they give you. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. I just want you to be aware of that. Every business owner, every entrepreneur is going to have an upsell at the register, but keep to your budget. Sure, so maybe one of the impulse buys or the upsells could be something that you actually need, but stick to the budget. If it's not something you need and it's going over your budget, let it be, okay? If it's not something you need and you're still gonna be in your budget, still let it be, because if you don't need it, don't buy it. Here's another tip. Be smart about who you bring with you. You know what I'm talking about. You all know that you have that one friend that's gonna say, buy it, looks great on you, and they're the yes men, okay? They're the people that won't, won't give you negative feedback ever at all. Now, if you need a therapeutic moment of being validated, that's a great friend for that, but they're a horrible shopping partner because you may end up with something that frankly looks hideous on you because your yes man said it looked great. Bring someone with you that's going to support you in your budget goals. Bring someone with you that's gonna give you honest feedback and bring someone with you that you know isn't going to waste your time. I know that sounds super shallow, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So be smart with who you bring with you. Before you go into any store, I want you to be aware of this. Store psychology. Every business is in business to make money. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. We're business owners, right? We're here to make six figures. But when you're going shopping and you have a budget, something to be aware of. Everything that's at the closest to the front of the store is most likely and most frequently the most expensive. So if you're looking for a great deal, head to the back of the store. They wanna make you work for it a little bit and they want you to pass all the expensive items on the way. But clearance and out of season stuff and stuff that's going on sale is always in the back. So know the psychology of your store. Also, notice how the tables are laid out. Notice where the end caps are. End caps are the items that are on the end of the row in any store. If it's on an end cap, they want you to buy it as an impulse buy. And sometimes those can be the most expensive. 
Other times, it can be clearance items that they're wanting to get rid of. So just because it's on an end cap doesn't mean it's the right fit for you. It could be a clearance item that you're wasting your money on. It could be an item that you need, but it's priced higher than the item in the middle of the aisle. So be aware of that, that those end caps are designed to help items fly off the shelves. Always check in and make sure you need it first. And I know this may sound counterproductive, but bring your phone with you when you shop. It's one of my secret hacks. Okay, when you bring your phone with you when you shop, you can always double check prices online. That's how I do it. Okay, if you're looking to save a buck or two, or maybe 10% or 15% or 20, your phone's gonna be a great tool to use that. Not only because you can use the Retail Me Not app on your phone, get a little coupon here and there, you can also use your phone to sign up for in store promotions. Most stores will have an in store opt in program where you can opt into email or text. If you do that, most of the the time they'll kick you back a thank you coupon either 10 or 15 or sometimes even more percentage off so bring your phone with you another few things to use your phone for is double checking prices online many stores will match prices online if it's a brand new item and it's the exact match another key hack for your phone is to check Amazon for the same item. You know, and don't be fooled because some items on Amazon can be spoof items. When you see it in the store, you can see it, feel it, touch it, you know you're getting exactly what's on the shelf. Amazon, you make sure you want to avoid all of those knockoffs. But if it's the same item for item, you may just find that Amazon will save you a few bucks if you've got Amazon Prime. Now, keep that in mind when you're going shopping because you can save a lot of money by just using those simple tips and tricks, and then you're gonna walk out of that store feeling fit and fabulous. All right, so keep that in mind when you're out at the grocery store, or the department store, wherever you happen to be at, make shopping easy, okay? Share with me some of your tips below in the comments. I'll see you tomorrow.